10 edition. I'm in the building with my homeboys, Mark and T. Yo. He's back from last week. Y'all holler at him, man. What up, everybody? It's cracking, it's cracking. Y'all know y'all miss me. Ah, ain't nobody miss you, cuz. Who's going to say last time? It's like we missed the Cowboys getting wins, right? right? Yeah. yeah, that's why he really was. Yeah, he ducked down on everybody. You know what I'm saying? You know what y'all last week, bro. bro. You get it to the y'all know. The Cowboys officially stink, okay? Yeah, y'all yeah, stink. Uh, y'all stuck before the season, though. Exactly. Hey, but we, me and G knew that. Yeah, yeah there you go. Me and Mark knew the whole time. This is you and me. All I know is Rex Grossman is they starting quarterback. Hey, who is y'all? Kidding us? He's hey, a that's pretty, that, was, that was pretty embarrassing too, dog. That whole situation, man. Hey, hey, we got four wins. How many wins did they? Okay. okay. Well, well, I don't I don't we're, we're, we're still respectable. We still can bounce back. Now we're right. More, More like he's defending himself. himself. Now we're right. <laughs> right now. Right hey. now. Y'all both are hitting the Super Bowl up. We're going to jump down for the NFL. We're going to let y'all have a battle, man. But the uh, only one, one of us stood up, stood tall last week, week of our three teams, and I, I, I say, say that as well. well. You, you, you gonna handle the NFL, NFL first, fellas. Got uh, the Moss McNabb talk, talk is good. We gonna start this thing off, man. We gonna we'll jump, jump right, right on in into it. Whichever one of those situations you wanna jump into, you know, keep it short and sweet, but both of them pretty crazy. Let me know how you feel about one of them. The the. The Donovan McNabb thing was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen an NFL head coach do in his life. I've never seen an NFL coach go and put up an incapable quarterback in a situation where he's cold. That's gross, man. A five-time Pro Bowl <laughs> future Hall of Fame quarterback. That's gross, Yeah, that was easy. I didn't need to be said other than that's gross. Not really terrible, man. What you got to say, man? What you got to Hey, I don't, hey, I, I, I wasn't with the move, so I think it was a dumb move on Shanahan's part too. I don't know why you would do that. I mean, to me, you guys just go down swing with Donovan, no matter what you may think. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what excuses you have, you got to go with Donovan. We still had a chance to, you know what I'm saying, go down the field, score, and, and win the game. You know, we we're only down four points, so it was a, it was a bad coaching move. And I think he's just been trying to make all these excuses because he knows it's a bad coach move. He should have just, just stepped up like, you know, Bill Belichick does when yeah. he makes a bad mistake and just be like, hey, you know, we made a, we tried it, we made a mistake, we're going to move on to the next game. He you said his man was not fit in cardio in the game. In game, what, eight? Uh, we eight, eight of the season? Oh, come on, man. To so run, run the too many drills, so you can put, put Rex Grossman in the game. game. That's, That's terrible. terrible. That's one of the all-time all worst celebrations in the history. He had no excuse. Without no. call. Let's, let's be honest. He should have came out and said what was the truth. Donovan McNabb has been stinking it up this year. Exactly. Yeah. Be real. Yeah. You give him more respect for that. He just came out. Yeah, he gets 10 times more respect for that. Yeah, I mean, say it like that. I'd rather you step up and say it like that than say, you know, he has a cardiovascular. You implied that he was either out of shape or he's too stupid to run a two-minute drill. <laughs> exactly. Like he said he, he doesn't know, know what he's doing. Because he couldn't, he couldn't stand up and remember two plays. Are you serious? Yeah. And, 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 and the thing was, y'all was, was putting up no points that game. It wasn't even like y'all was, you know, like y'all's offense was terrible that game. No, the thing that's terrible about McNabb this year is McNabb is usually a quarterback who – doesn't throw a lot of picks. He got a lot of picks this year. He got more picks than touchdowns. No, he's no, definitely, definitely struggling. Yeah, he's yeah, definitely, he definitely struggling. Hurt. That's a little bit different than McNabb usually is. Yeah, yeah without question. question. But he don't he got, got no receivers, man. man. Like, like, come on. Come on. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not that, just McNabb. Yeah, that man had no receiving help. I don't give that excuse because I see Tom uh, Peyton Manning, and I never heard of Jacob Tammy until Monday night. That's all I know. But, but Peyton Manning has way more accuracy than Donovan, though. Yeah, I know, but I don't. That's what I'm saying. That he don't have no receiver. I don't want to hear that. But Jacob, Jacob Tam, no, nah, you can't, can't not want to hear it. Like, like the receiver the court that they have, have is like, like one of the worst in the league, hands down, hands down. Hand 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 but Santana Moss looks good. What well, don't say, but I don't say he's by far. He'd be like, can't even use that excuse. Nah, but they don't got nobody to do it. They don't got nobody to do it. I mean, but he's throwing bad passes. He did. I mean, he's doing his part too. But what I'm saying is, he doesn't have one. One, one wide receiver, receiver were, you know, you know worthy, worthy of, of note in that, that whole line of other than Santana. 
And, and you know, you know Pop, Pop almost, almost done, done basically. Like, like, I mean, but you can't. This is my and, thing. And, but, but, go ahead, G. My bad. My thing is this. He done it before. Yeah. yeah. It was a different he does it before. I mean, and, and, and that just kind of leads me into the whole thing, you know, the Randy Moss thing. We should have at least attempted to get Moss. But, you know, Moss goes to the Titans, yeah. which, uh, ahead, you know, they picked him up right off the waivers, now. you know. That's crazy. And, and, Are you, really and think, you really think y'all could have took that, that personality in there? Come on. Why man. not? Come on, man. Why not? My man, he did the Ainsworth this summer. Hey, why not, man? man. We random. We random. We random. You know, it wasn't gonna be for for the whole for the, for the future. It was gonna be a rental situation. Get him in here, see if he can exactly. help Don no stretch the field. Because Don really yeah. does have a big arm. He he just really is bad on them intermediate throws, but he can oh. you know put it down the field. So I, I would if I would right have we can have him coming back. Well, let's well, talk about this though. Let's talk about this though. We 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 should have ran already. Yeah, this what he is. We talk about that ball from the Titans now. Titan Titan Titan. How y'all feel about the Titans? You feel any better about the Titans with Moss than without Moss? No, no. Or is it kind of like a non-back Titan? I mean, Moss still got a lot of lot to. I mean, he don't got. He has a lot to prove that he still has it. Like, as you know. Over the last couple of games, he really hasn't been doing too much. Yeah, he does, you know, stretch the field if he goes hard. He can do that, but he hasn't shown that, you know. And he does open up the field for other receivers. So I think it's going to help in that aspect. It's going to help in that aspect, but, you know, as far as him putting up crazy numbers, yeah, I, I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Okay. we'll see how it goes. I think I think they're going to be still a, a pretty good team. And it's all, I think they're going to be better with them, you know, than when not. Yeah. How about, how about, how about, how about, how about and I agree with you. I mean, you're not going to be worse. I don't think. I mean, the penalty organization, of course, how strong you are from the top to the bottom as far as that's concerned. How about, how about the power, the power rankings, man? man. We'll we'll that that well, first, first of all, how about, how about the, the other big pickup? Pick you know, you know they, they're, they're really not that going to have that much impact this year, but the Bills get better, man. That of any worthy of any discussion at all? Y'all think Merriman has anything left at all? No, because this is the one thing I want to say about Deshaun Merriman. Nobody says this. After he got caught with steroids, he's been terrible. Word. So I don't even think, why don't they have no argument for that? I mean, why don't nobody even say that? Oh, he had a couple injuries. Yeah, after he got caught with the juice. True. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough, enough. enough. I mean, that's yeah, a, that's an open case right, right there, bro. bro. So we can move. You really got to continue on that. On that. Give me these Give me power, power rankings, rankings real quick, man. We had a pretty interesting weekend, man. I feel like the Steelers, Ravens, Patriots, and Jets. The Jets are kind of questionable after that nine nothing lost to me. To the Packers, but the Steelers, Ravens, and the Patriots, and the Patriots definitely, definitely locked in. in. So who so who would y'all put in those last two spots, spots in, the, in, the in the top five? five in order, 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 of course. Giants. Still, still want to stay with the, the Giants? Giants? You know, you know, the 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 we? Yeah, I like the Giants a lot. All right. All right. I got to go with Kansas City. That was going to be my pick. What? What? Top five pick. Oh, uh, Kansas City is I tough. like them. Okay. 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 I mean, they, I mean play, they, they play they play a way that you can win in the playoffs. They run the ball and play defense. Okay. okay. I mean, I, I, mean, I would say that I had, had, you know, I you know, had, I had some, some other people out here for the reason. Talking about the Colts, the Falcons. The Falcons. They're the yeah, they'll be being slept on at this point. The Packers. I think they're overrated. I'll be honest with you. Well, we did say that earlier, but they're getting it done. You know, so you can't ignore that fact. Oh, yeah, I think they, they definitely out at this point. Huh? Huh? When they played against Philadelphia, they were clearly outmatched. And that game right there proved to me that they was overrated. Okay. Okay. Well, well you, know. you know. You got the Titans and the Saints as well. The Saints, of course, is my personal pick. pick but I'm not going to throw them in the top five right now. That was a big win for us against the Steelers. Yeah, that was a big win on Sunday night. But, uh, so, you say y'all need me to win. Yeah, we needed yeah, that, but we, we got it the way we got it done. It was impressive. You know, you know, I mean, they, they, they didn't run the, run the ball crazy, crazy on the What well, about so. Tampa Bay, though? Hey, you know, not, 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 not,
Yeah. Yeah. So who are we going to keep this young man? Still the Ravens, Patriots. Patriots. And who else are we going to say? Number one. I would say Patriots number one. I would rather wrap it up. We got to keep it in. 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 We got to I was going to say, it's not their fault they had a bye. Jets got it. They couldn't lose ground for not playing. Okay. 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 I'm, yeah, just I'm just saying. Still is ready to pay Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. 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 Phil Rivers, Antonio Gates, Josh, Josh, Josh Freeman. This ain't fantasy, this ain't fantasy, man. He can't be oh, yeah, talking about the dude. Nominating the whole D. Why not? If you do a shout-out, how you do it? You play fantasy football, man. How you can't get no credit? How you can't get no credit, man? For shutting out. 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 That's fine. That's fine. Who y'all, who yeah, y'all put up there? Offense, who my player? We just Calvin Johnson. How about you, How about Mark? you, Mark? Uh, I would have to go with, um... I'm down with Calvin Johnson, too. Yeah, I'm going to go with Calvin. Okay. Even though they did beat us. I don't even want to pick them, but it's all good. Of course you don't know on Calvin. When they beat, when they whoop up on you, but... Yeah, yeah, moved up on you for a reason, because Calvin Johnson, Calvin Johnson got, it got, it done, got it done, man. Yeah, I guess so. Here you go, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's what it is, though. So, uh, you know, leave, leave it all there, leave it all there, man. There, man. Um, which one of y'all want to go first, man? Go first, man? Mark City Mark got City something got crazy, crazy for y'all. Yeah, let's go Mark. Let's go Mark. I always got some. Why I got to go first? I got the craziness. Hold up. I'm going with that J. Cole Bun B for president. Okay, you know, throw, throw a hard track, you know what I'm saying? Classic. Yeah, I like it. Definitely. Definitely. J. Cole always, J. Cole always beating for it, so. Hop into that, that, man. Come, come right, right back, man. Keep this thing going. Follow the leader. Tell him what to do. Yeah, you yeah, got to follow the leader. You know what I mean? Hands down. Hands down. DJ Greedy. Greedy.